Hello everyone again. Thanks for joining me for our daily devotions. Happy to share with you a topic today about the greater glory. There's a greater glory to come to all of us. So we want to go into the Old Testament. We want to look at the children of Israel. They were in captivity. They're returning back to the homeland under the leadership of Zerubbabel to rebuild the temple. And we want to take up that story in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 3 and it says, God was, he was chatting with the the priests and the leaders and the people and he asked them an important question he said who of you is left who saw this house in its former glory does it look to you now how does it look to you now does it not seem to you like nothing because that was in really in the hearts of the people the older people they remembered the glory and they were quite disappointed with this simple construction of this temple now of course solomon's temple has been destroyed so they're looking for something to follow up to be bigger and better and it seemed what they saw being constructed was so inferior to what had been already proposed as compared to Solomon as they compared Solomon's building with such a magnificent one even the book of Ezra records and let's read that it says the elders who saw former Solomon's temple before compared it they wept aloud when they saw the foundation of this temple being laid so those, as I said, did a comparison, the before and the after, and there was a great disparity between both temples. So the Jews were not that enthused to work on this less glorious project. They were also looking in the natural. They remembered that, you know, it was just an ornate building, lots of gold and silver. It was very huge, and they have limited resources to build a temple. They remembered all the precious stones and and that was there the gold was just spread in the temple and God had to let them know that the silver and gold is his he does need gold and silver to demonstrate his glory they also would have remembered the the dedication of the temple that's in the book of second chronicles chapter 7 where the glory came down in the temple when Solomon dedicated the building and the cloud descended and the priests could not minister so they're looking for the greater glory and they just assumed this smaller, less grand building cannot bring the glory of God. They didn't expect this. But God had to inform them that this glory, this, this temple, sorry, can outshine the glory that they saw in Solomon's temple. What God wants to do now in us would, be, would outshine what he did in our lives in the past. Why? Because the best is still yet to come. Let's read it in the book of Haggai 2 verse 7. And God responded to them and he said, I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of hosts. Now who is the desire of all nations? That is really Jesus. He is our desire, the desire of all nations, Christ in us, the hope of glory. And he continued to encourage them in verse 9. He says, the glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house says the Lord. God gave them that promise and encouraged them. A greater glory was coming. I want us to know a greater glory is coming to us as individuals, as well as as a church, what God is going to do in our midst. So although we may have experienced God's presence in the past, let's not focus on the good old days or what is currently happening now. You know, we may reflect on our stories of our breakthrough in our lives and as in a church and what God has done in the past in the earlier days in our walk with God, but as they would see the expression, we ain't seen nothing yet. The best is still on its way. So God has promised us as a church a greater glory. And as you and I cry out for more of God's glory, He is going to respond to us as individuals and as a church. God wants to stretch us. He wants to exceed our expectations. Let's long for more, expect more of his manifest presence. If, as we look forward to the greater glory, we will experience his presence and his goodness, his power more and more. We thank God a greater glory is on the way.